Okay, so we've got a fairly turbid water source here that we want to collect water from to boil to make that water potable. And really, the best thing you can do with turbid water before you boil it is to filter it. There's lots and lots of ways to filter water, but one of the oldest ways to filter water is through canvas bags. A very tightly woven piece of canvas that is soaked in water, and when water is poured into that canvas, the threads expand, and it restricts the amount of water that can leach through the corner if it's tilted on an angle or if it's built on an angle like this Rupert Brown bag is. And we've soaked this thing in water here for a few minutes and dumped the water out of it. And you can see this bag is made almost like a sock shape. So the water is going to, gravity is going to force the water down into this corner here. And you can see water dripping right there now. Rupert Brown from the UK has used the exact same material that the Millbank, original military Millbank bags were made in the UK from in a brown fabric instead of that aqua green horrible color that the originals were made out of. And I've got an original, maybe I'll put a picture of it in this video, I don't have it out here in the woods with me. So the pretense behind this bag is that you soak it first to expand the fibers, you then fill it with the water that you want to filter the turbidity or the grit out of, and you would catch that water in a catchment device and then boil that water, and that would give you potable water. So we're going to do that today. You can see it's already leaking water. So we're gonna hang this from an elevated location let a little bit of it drip through, and then we're going to start collecting this water. Okay, the next thing we need to do to get sorted out here is we need to get an elevated tripod for our pot and a fire underneath it. And the reason we're gonna build a tripod is because if we elevate that pot over the flames, we can optimize the heat from a smaller fire to boil this water quickly. Whereas if we have to build a bigger fire to shove it in coals, wait for a coal bed and all those types of things, it's going to be longer to boil that water. I'm gonna show you a quick and dirty way to make a tripod in just a couple, just a few seconds really, um, once you've cut the wood. It's not going to be a permanent tripod lash. It's just a very quick and dirty system you can use to make a tripod on the fly and then recover the cordage fairly quickly and get out if you need to. Stay with me. Okay, for a quick and dirty tripod, no proper lashing, we just wanna get it up, get it down when we need to leave. We're gonna take our utility cordage and I'm gonna use orange today so you can see it. We've got a stop knot tied in both ends, quick and dirty. We have to cut our poles that we're gonna use for our tripod. I've got them right here. They're about an inch in diameter. So I'm just gonna take this cordage and I'm gonna tie an overhand loop that's gonna give me a loop about an inch in diameter here, and that's all I need. And now I'm just going to take that loop and put it over, the cord, over just like this, and I'm going to lace this in in every other fashion here, just like this, as if I were weaving a basket. And I'm gonna do that so that I've got two wraps on each side of the center pole. So I have one, two on this side, one, two on this side. When I finish, I'm gonna come around here with my X and I'm gonna put a quick clove hitch in this thing just to finish it out. If, you're, if you have questions about a clove hitch knot, I've got videos on how to tie it. It's basically just two wraps making an X and the other one tightens everything up. We're not gonna worry about tightening that up really heavy right now. We're gonna take the center pole and we're just gonna turn it one time over, just like that. And that's going to create a bind right there. And now we have a tripod. That fast we have a tripod. It takes no time and no lashes. You've turned it over here which is tighten it up like a frapping wood, and you have this tail hanging in the middle that you can use to hang your pot off of. When you need to get that off, 
it's pretty quick and dirty to get that off because all you have to do is unwrap it one time and you can pretty much just pull that center pole out pull all of this off and then all you're left with is the loop you put over and the clove hitch which you can slide up the line and it's done you've got your line you're ready to go so i'll do this one more time real fast for you we have our line we have our three poles and we have our line we put our line our loop over the top and then all we do is an over under fashion just like a weave around the poles give yourself a little bit of stick up there to mess with Make sure that you've got two wraps on each side of the pole. Two here, two here. When you come around the last time, wrap once, wrap around again. That's gonna give you that X right there. And you're gonna use that X that you just created to tie your clove hitch, just like this. You don't have to make that real tight right now. Just kind of cinch it up a little bit. Take your center pole, turn it over one time just like that, and that tightens up that lashing and almost forces it to go into a tripod as soon as you do that. Again, loop it over and you got your center line, you're ready to rock and roll.